Prince Harry calls American free speech laws and the Bill of Rights bonkers. Bonkers, that's right. He calls it bonkers. And there you see the face of uh, Prince Harry. And this is probably uh, taken before he, he met his, whatever her name is, Meghan Markle, whatever her name is. And uh, this is the, one of the last times that there was maybe some authentic joy on this man's face. Because you never see authentic joy on this man's face anymore. So this must have been before he got totally taken in or chose to, what, however it happened, where he got taken into this ideology of fear, hate, and uh, human diminishment so that the, the few can continue to control the many by, by any means necessary. The difference between growing up in a land in which the king is a piece of paper with words on it versus a king who takes up flesh form, well, just look at how one man who grew up in the land of the kings of flesh, who himself was once a possible future heir of such kingship, he, as he reacts to the concept of a king of paper that cannot die, that has no charisma, no existential perpetuation, but depends up, uh, uh, that, that he depends on for his power. So you can't murder King Bill like you can a human being. You can't me too King Bill like you can a human being. You can't demonize, ostracize King Bill. You can't murder King Bill in the marketplace. You have to murder the followers of King Bill. And to do so, you have to violate King Bill to do it. And that's what the DNC is working on. And that's what Prince Harry wants to see happen because he's bought into this woke nonsense that somehow whites and heterosexuals and males in some weird cabal invented evil. And if we could just terminate whites, males, and heterosexuals, literally and or figuratively or otherwise, then we will bring heaven on earth and evil will end and everything will be great. Now, all we got to do, though, is kill the undesirables before we can get to that. So, so he's on board with that. So for him, it would seem natural that he would be so offended by an idea of a king that cannot be murdered. This is the biggest challenge that Christianity, when it's, I will say when it, when it is authentically followed, the biggest challenge that Christianity presents to authoritarianism in general. It's an ideology. Christianity, if you want to call it an ideology, it's an ideology that refuses to bend to the prospect of death. And when you're no longer afraid of death, whoo, you're a very dangerous person when you have authoritarian ideologues about. So, uh, Prince Harry, he is uh, the one-time potential future king of England, can't fathom the Bill of Rights, especially the idea of free speech, the concept alone, being a governor of the many, including the very rulers in the flesh of the land. They can't, can't comprehend that, that flesh rulers would be limited by something outside of themselves, something that they can't murder or cancel. And this is from page6.com. Prince Harry is taking heat for calling the First Amendment bonkers. In a recent podcast, oh, he's only taking heat from a small set in America. Unfortunately, mostly from human beings belonging to a faction that at one point was more than willing to champion anti-Bill of Rights sentiments when they perceived that they were more in power. But now that they're not, now they're back on our side, on, on we the poor side in which they're actually going to be champions of the Bill of Rights because now they need them. And hey, I, I welcome their uh, alliance, so to speak, but I hope maybe they can come to terms with uh, maybe practicing a Bill of Rights standard that applies to all in all circumstances, including the marketplace, including the public square, and especially including in, in governments uh, defined and, and, and controlled public squares, but not just them, all public squares. So, uh, Continuing here, uh, let's see, from page six. So the Duke of Sussex made the statement on Dak Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast while discussing what he called the media feeding frenzy that arose from his stay at Tyler, pa pa Tyler Perry's Beverly Hills mansion, the Daily Mail reported. I've got so much I want to say about the First Amendment as I sort of understand it, but it is bonkers. I don't want to start going down the First Amendment route because that's a huge subject and the one which I don't understand because I've only been here for a short time. Like the Bill of Rights standards come from English traditions. England 
didn't fully, never really fully formed an actual paper king, but they set the precedent for a paper king. So the fact that someone who was once in line to potentially be, if things went a certain way, could have been the next king of England, the fact that that person doesn't understand the Bill of Rights tells you all you need to know about the royal family and how out of touch they are with the rest of humanity. Because I can tell you, average rank and file English, they understand the Bill of Rights. Most human beings, most poors around the world understand the Bill of Rights and they wish they had them. And I bet you most poors, if and when the DNC succeeds in fully finishing off the one true king in the land, the Bill of Rights, King Bill, I can I, I I imagine many people around the world that are that are frothing at the bit to see America's demise will rule the day that they did. Now, an America ruled by the DNC is is basically just like a Chinese Communist Party type situation. So, they will no longer be a beacon of freedom for the rest of the world because they don't offer freedom for the rest of the world or, for, or even for themselves, let alone the rest of the world. But assuming somehow we the poors who who understand rightly that the Bill of Rights is our only hope for fending off the authoritarian collectivist powers of the few over the many, then we will once again have a beacon of light for the rest of the world in a land where King Bill reigns. And hopefully, if, if and when we get back power, we will, uh, we will more consistently follow the Bill of Rights and not treat other people outside of our lands as if they too don't deserve to be treated like they have bills of rights as well, whether they're citizens or not. And that's, that's another story altogether. But there you have it. Prince Harry just doesn't fundamentally understand.